Okay, now we're gonna go see the biggest tree in the world. We're walking inside of a tree right now. We're Haley and Jake. This is Finley, and this is our van that we're calling home as we drive from Vancouver, Canada to Cancun, Mexico. In this episode, we're visiting Sequoia National Park. At the top of the Sierra Nevada mountain range in Eastern California, lays a forest grove that is home to some of the largest trees in the world, the giant sequoia. It's a big tree. Join us as we walk among giants in Sequoia National Park. Our journey started in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountain range, where we began the 5,000 foot climb up to the park entrance. Wow. We are really high up. As we increased elevation, the landscape around us transformed into a beautiful forest. We entered the park from the southwest at about a thousand feet of elevation and it's kind of a, a low desert down there. And then you drive up here and slowly the scenery changes until at 6,000 feet it's snow covered the ground and there's giant sequoias everywhere. So it goes from a deserty landscape to um, forest just with elevation in this one national park. It's really cool and it's not at all what we expected. At 6,000 feet, we saw our first sequoias. We made it to the sequoias! Weighing over 1,000 tons, these giants are among the largest living beings on Earth. They're also some of the oldest at over 2,000 years old. It's almost as spacious in here as a whole bed. So the most famous tree in Sequoia National Park is the General Sherman tree and it is measured by volume as the biggest tree in the world. So we're really excited to go check it out. It's not necessarily the tallest and it's not necessarily the widest, but taking both together its total volume is enormous. Okay, now we're gonna go see the biggest tree in the world. We're here on a Saturday, so it's a little bit busy and parking's a bit tight. So we parked about a kilometer down the way. I'm just gonna head back and check it out now. The General Sherman tree is the largest tree in the world. It weighs over 1,300 tons, is over 35 feet wide at its base, and stands at 275 feet tall. There's a branch up top that's kind of going out into a different trunk, and it's thicker than most full-grown trees. <laughs> We continued walking the path around the General Sherman, stopping to admire the sheer size of this tree. And of course, to take some grip photos as well. Well, that was the world's biggest tree. That was cool. Something funny we noticed in the last couple weeks is that whenever we go up a high elevation, the pressure change causes the oil that we put in our counters to actually seep back out. 
So it's really odd, we've never seen this before, but we oil them at low elevation to keep them nice and protected from water. Then we come up and the pressure change causes the oil to seep back out, which is super weird. So uh, un unusual thing about butcher block in van life. We drove to a spot just outside the national park to watch the sunset over the forest below us and park for the night. The next morning we woke up early and made our way back into the park where we found a beautiful lookout to start the day. Good morning. We are at our first viewpoint of the morning and we're sitting here eating our breakfast and we have this beautiful view. We enjoyed the beautiful view while we finished our coffees then made our way to the neighboring Kings Canyon National Park to go visit another very special tree. It's bright and early on Sunday morning and we are here to go see the General Grant tree. And this one is the second largest in the world by volume. So I believe it's wider than the first one, but not quite as tall. inside of a tree right now. I still can't get over how big these trees are. It's unreal. General Sherman tree was very busy yesterday. It's very nice to be here early in the morning because there's no one else on the trail. It's really hard to wrap your head around how big these trees are. <laughs> Even when we keep seeing them, it, you can't take it all in. So driving through the park, we peaked at over 7,000 feet. We're just under 6,000 now, and we're heading back down to the valley. The views have been gorgeous, and it's crazy to look in the view and be above so many mountains. So unfortunately, the road up to Kings Canyon is closed in the winter. Otherwise, we would definitely be heading up there to go check it out. We'll have to save that for another trip. So that is the end of our video in Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park. We're going to be heading south and getting ready to go into Death Valley. We're looking forward to a bit of a warmer climate. So we'll see you guys there. Bye. Bye. We left the beautiful sequoia groves and headed to somewhere that felt like was another planet. Join us next time when we explore Death Valley National Park.